Hello, welcome to Music Theory, Grade 7, Week 23, brought to you by To Enable. We are continuing with our exciting lessons of music listening. This week we'll be actively listening to a variety of live or recorded music. Active listening to live music or recorded music by clapping and humming. Clapping and humming. Active listening to recorded music by Sipogazi Ubuntu. Try to hum or sing along or even clap the rhythm or the beat of the song so we are humming singing along if we can clap the rhythm or the beat of the song let us begin by listening first to the song then follow the lyrics and analysis on the next page to help us understand the music better so we can be able to follow through clapping or humming after listening a couple of times try to sing along again again then or clap or hum the melody uh, let's begin our analysis ubuntu just a quick background on ubuntu ubuntu is a true reflection of an african sound taken from ubuntu bar album taken from ubuntu bar album released in 2008 reflecting the traditions of our land south africa carrying an ethnic sound uh, from usis Sipogazi. The song is in a 6-8 meter, 6-8 time signature, a 6-8 meter or time signature 6-8 fill is a subdivision of a 3-4 uh, time signature. The 6-8 time signature is mostly used in African music uh, or rhythm patterns. 6-8 means 6 quaver beats in a bar. So, instead of having three crochet beats in a bar, we have subdivided that time signature into six quavers in a bar. So, you would count your, six, your three, four as one, two, three. Three, four again. One, two, three. So, I've just slapped three crochet beats in a bar. So, now from the same rhythm, I'm going to tap, I'm gonna tap uh, a six, eight fill. So, it's going to be... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The three, four would be one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this is an up tempo song, which is fast. This eight rhythm groove, but played in a modern way that can be danced to. Instruments now we've got the voice, leading vocals, and backing vocals. We have the piano the keyboard or the synth sound organs electric bass guitar electric guitar percussion and drums dynamics of the song are loud because of the strong heritage message uh, the song carries a happy song instruments are beautifully interpreting the message texture is polyphonic meaning multi instruments and voices relatively independent to one another the song starts with an intro going to the first verse then a pre-chorus remember a pre-chorus is a part of a song that comes just before a chorus maybe just a short interlude or a set of a group of maybe two or four chords just before going to the chorus and then after the pre-chorus we it's the chorus then going back to the second verse now pre-chorus chorus again the intro and the pre-chorus are just instrumentals playing no vocals there the first paragraph of the lyric speaks of ubuntu humanity making a statement that beauty doesn't lie in materialistic things like money education or job titles but true beauty lies in the heart of a person the love the humanity and compassion the lyrics are painting a true picture of ubuntu which means unity in africa helping the next person which is what god requires us to do now let's listen to 
Ubuntu and follow the lyrics. After this, try to sing along by humming, tapping the beats or the rhythmic patterns. You can also try to tap out the melody.